We're the two gay reefers. Hey reefers, today we're talking about the jar reef. Now we haven't looked at it for a while and there's a good reason for that. We decided to go a little bit too long between water changes, a little bit on purpose, a little bit on by accident. And next thing you know, we had frags bleaching, mainly our bird of paradise, frag up the top, and a few of the other birds nests. So unfortunately, we lost the birds nest frag at the top, the bird of paradise. The others actually came back and recovered after we did a water change, which was really good, but we learned, let's not leave it five weeks between water changes. A little bit yucky. <laughs> it made us focus on the jar reef, so we gave it a bit of love and attention. So we've got a few new frags in there, and the first one is... We have a forest fire digitata. Now we're going to chop this into a couple of pieces as well, so we've got more to spread around the tanks. Now with this forest fire digi, we are fragging this because we haven't had much luck with this so far. Every piece we've had survives, but it doesn't really take off. So. We're making sure we've got backups of this, so if we have one that doesn't do well, hopefully some of the others will pick up the slack. And we're using a piece of coral rubble for the frag plug in this case, as this particular piece is going into the jar reef right front, top and centre. Now I'm really excited to have this uh, Montipora Digitata in there because we're having a few issues with Reefzilla as well, hence why we haven't done so many updates on it lately either. Um, and at the moment, the Digitata is one of those that just doesn't want to do well. It sort of is sulking big time. So I'm glad to have a backup piece in the jar reef. It's been in here about two weeks now and it's been going strong. We've got a few Leptoceras in here as well and that's from the Polyp Lab glue fragging session that we did last week. So we were looking for something else to put in the jar reef, a little bit something special, something different that not many people have tried before in a reef this small. And we came up with a bubble tip anemone. Now this bubble tip anemone has a little bit of a backstory. We first got it as a hitchhiker on our lovely large long polyp leather. Really love this coral, had this beautiful little BTA at the bottom. It has nice orange tips on the ends of the green tentacles and it has a little bit of a glitter in it as well which is quite nice. So it was only tiny to start with and it split into two. So we had two of them. When they came over to Reefzilla we had it on a rock so we had an anemone rock, we had our lovely large BTA that we already had and then we had these two little fellows orange tip ones residing on the same rock so they couldn't get into any trouble and I said to Gordon look I don't really want to put these in there but if they behave and stay on the rock I'll be happy. That's when disaster struck. I looked in the tank one morning and lo and behold one of the split BTAs was on the top of the rock on top of the Dallas coral at the highest peak in the tank. And I've just got no, 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 you are not staying there. So thought, where can we put it? Let's put it in the jar reef. Good thing was because it had just moved, it was easy to take out of reef sealer and put in the jar reef. And we've had it in there for now about two weeks and it's been doing really well. It's doing a little bit of a boogie around the jar reef, seeing which spot it wants to claim. So let's roll the tape and have a look at the jar reef and how it looks with the new BTA and those few new corals in there.
So the jar reef is cracking along. It's looking a lot better than it has in a couple months, which I'm so happy for. Thing is, now we've got a bubble tip and enemy in there. We don't usually feed them in our bigger reef, so we'll give it a go and see how it goes without feeding, first of all. But it's a bit, sh bit of a shame to have a BTA in there and nothing living in it. So give us some suggestions of what we could put in there. Any suggestions, put them in the comments below. But as always, like, comment and subscribe. Be excellent to each other and keep it salty everyone. Bye for now. Hey reefers, how is everyone today? Today we're look talking up the blah 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 blah